Hi, in this video, we'll be performing an analysis uh, in context with the group comparisons uh, through ggstats plot uh, library, uh, which is an extension of very famous library ggplot2. And apart from this, we'll be using some other extensions like ggpubr and ggfortify. Then, uh, in order to proceed, we will uh, recall all these library by clicking on this run option. And for that, we'll be using two data set. One pertains to the soil, which is already imported to my our uh, console here we have three different uh, locations shalimar benehama and we have another category that is vadura and we will be using another data set iris which is by default present in the r studio and here again we have three different categories three different species of iris that is satosa versicola and we have the final one that is known as virginia virginica uh, so in order to proceed uh, we'll fit. Uh, we'll make a group comparison plot through ggstats plot two utilizing the soil data. For that, we'll use the default code that is name to see the labels and click on the center. We have the plots for. We have the labels for that. Then we'll be using this default uh, function gg between stats. Then I will write the name of this data set that is soil. Then I will fix the x xc. Say for example, I want to put locations on my x-axis i have to be very cautious about these capital letters and small letters then uh, on y i want to put nitrogen okay then i want to give some title also say for example i will write uh, nitro then i will write milligrams per kg then i will click on the center then within few seconds we'll be having a plot which will be quite attractive where the group comparisons can be done uh, and it will take some pause and we have a plot for this so we have a plot where we can see easily from this p value we say that all these three groups are significantly different from each other and every group is significantly different from another group by uh, by another group with respect to the p values from these black lines and here we can see the values of the average are also here we can see the average nitrogen in case of this very high stone 98.6 which is quite significantly different from this shalimar and which is also quite significantly different from although it is a bit lower in case of vardura as compared to the rest of the two but they are all significantly different from each other similarly we can make a plot for uh, uh, phosphorus also or potassium also i will simply write in the place this uh, nitrogen by uh, here i will write potassium then again i will click on the center and again after a few seconds and after some pause we will have a plot uh, for this potassium variable which will be similar uh, with respect to this here you can see we have again a different plot uh, and the same story here it tells that they are quite significantly different from each other but i am interested uh, to combine both these plots in one plot for that i'll be put used to utilizing this function which i have just uh, made for this nitrogen variable before this i will write a name to this function for example p2 p1 sorry for nitrogen then i will utilize this potassium and in potassium potassium variable i will write p2 name for this whole function then after that i will use a very important function that is gg arrange then i will arrange p1 and p2 both these plots or both these variables i have combined these two variables p1 and p2 which i have given the name to the function for the first variable name to the function for uh, second variable the first one was nitrogen the second one was potassium and this gg arrange this actually combines the plots uh, and it depends on how many variables you are using so we have a plot so instead of uh, making these plots separately we have combined the plots for both these variables uh, in a one plot so if you are having 
a large number of variables you can combine them within a one figure so this is a very quite attractive feature of this uh, uh, ggstat plot too but i am more interested to show you another thing that is i'll be using this data that is iris so the names here in case of iris is uh, like we have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and species. The fourth one here is the categorical, fifth one sorry is a categorical variable. So I want to make a auto plot in context of principal component analysis. Since in principal component analysis, uh, if we are performing for that, we have to use the facto minor, facto extra library. Uh, then we have to see uh, the label, the rows then after that we have to use that fvz function then princom function then to make those uh, by plots uh, we have to uh, write un different codes for them so in order to save time what we will do we'll use that uh, gg fortify library this gg fortify library this has a very important uh, thing uh, an important function that is known as auto plot but before that what we have to do since this principal component analysis is done usually on the variables the data reduction technique for that first we have to exclude this variable so for that we will write df is equal to iris this is the name of my data set this is the name of the data set on which we are performing this auto plot then we we'll use those uh, square brackets and within this minus 5 since the position of this species is on the fifth variable so minus 5 so minus 5 I'll click on this then enter then after that what we will do we'll use this code here uh, this PR comp is the default uh, default uh, code uh, uh, in case of uh, auto plot uh, in case of this TG fortify df is the name of this data set where we have excluded the species and scale dot is equal to true as you know the standardization is very important as for the data reduction technique especially principal component analysis concern then we'll click on this run then if we will write this pc a uh, we'll be having the results of uh, these uh, standard deviations and the rotation with respect to pc1 pc2 pc3 uh, okay then what uh, we will do we will write these standard deviation location center and scale so easily we can get everything from but we are not interested in the, that we are actually interested to make a auto plot with one function where we will write the name of this function pc and loadings we want to uh, do, uh, put loadings on our plot and we want to give them labels also and we want to give color to the grouping variable so that these uh, should also be uh, reflected on the plot then we will click on this run this is a very quick command which can save our a lot of time there we have we have a, a two principal components and first component explains 72.96 percent which is a good figure and uh, the second 122 and with respect to first component sepal length uh, petal width and uh, petal length are uh, quite uh, good uh, variables in a way as the length of the arrows are very large in comparison to the other since they are positively contributing or this is negatively uh, uh, contributing with respect to the component first and you can see uh, this red color uh, this species is totally different uh, in comparison to the rest of the two since these two are grouped together and there is uh, some uh, mixing of these two categories and this can be done when we are uh, interested to apply a classification model why we want to separate uh, different classes perfectly so here uh, machine learning algorithm especially the classification uh, algorithm or a classifier is highly recommended so in order to perform this PCA in a much quicker way we can use uh, this kind of function utilizing this uh, ggplot uh, uh, gg uh, gg fortify sorry and in order to make some plots uh, like we have made in case of uh, this uh, gg uh, stats plots where we can combine the plots we can see the group comparison with respect to the analysis of variances 
and where every group uh, whether it is significantly different or not which can be done and if you are interested to evaluate different categories different treatments say for example we are interested to test different varieties we are interested to test different genotypes we are interested to test different machines in terms of efficiencies and we want to make some beautiful attractive graphs where everything every story will be displayed from p values to the degrees of freedom uh, say p values or degrees of freedom and up to the confidence interval including the total number of observations which uh, you have utilized in a particular data set for that this gg stats plot is highly recommended hope this video will be quite helpful to all of you thank you